So we just got into the Model 3 refresh design and already you can notice just how quiet it is. I have my noise meter here. So we got a bunch of cars. Let's see how loud it is. So now we're gonna close the windows. It lowered by like 40 decibels. Already it's just an amazing vehicle. So it's very simple, intuitive. Has all the notifications on here. It says press and hold to brake. We also have out of shift park out of beta we can enable. So I already know to go into drive. So see, look at that. It changed to tap to activate reverse. We're in reverse. So, so far not too difficult to drive. Very easy. How do we go into drive? That's like the weird thing, right? We don't have any gear stocks here. Just on the screen, you just have to go boop. So already like if you're coming from a Model 3 or Model Y, the suspension is insanely different. They tuned it better, absorbs all the jiggles in your in your belly, that's what they said. This is a very bumpy road. I'm not in Irvine. I'm in like Garden Grove area. So the road is not smooth, it's very rough, and yet it feels amazing. It's very similar to like the yoke steering, but they made it better than the yoke steering because now these buttons, you could actually touch it and it moves. Turning radius is amazing. It's a Model 3, but it's a much better, much more well-defined Model 3. This is the long range dual motor model. So you got a little bit more power in there. You have better speakers all around a much better car. However, I test drove the rear wheel drive model and I was very surprised. Sound system was just as good. So I'm six foot three. My head still does not touch the roof. That's a big thing with a lot of tall people. The only issue is going into the car. That's going to be tough because it's so low to the ground. But this also has the blind spot monitoring system. So if there's a car in the blind spot, it'll actually uh, activate. Regenerative braking, I noticed with the rear wheel drive wasn't as strong. So I was a little disappointed. I thought they changed it. However, now that I'm on the long range model with dual motors, you definitely feel the same regenerative braking as normal Tesla. So that's very common. And on this side, you have the ability to quickly, and I like this, you can have the ability to quickly open up the camera so you can see all the cameras instantly. This is your autopilot. So if you press it, autopilot engages. You have your wiper blades here. So if you press the wiper blade button, it goes. If you hold the wiper blade button, it turns that on. And of course you have your voice commands here as well. And now they actually have a physical horn. So no more horn button. It's like an actual physical horn, which is a much big improvement. So already the steering wheel is nice. They have these little like textured area and this is gonna be prominent throughout various places on the Tesla as well. Turning feels really good on this thing. It's not a full circle. It's flat on the bottom. The Tesla Model 3 was Tesla's first budget friendly mass produced vehicle in the market. And it did an amazing job. It was the first to have a minimalist interior. It was the first to have just just one screen to do everything and they changed the game. But now they did it again with the Model 3 refresh. Look how sexy that looks. The Model 3 was the most bang for your buck car at the time. It had the most miles. It was a great car. And I know so many people who got a Model 3. However, there were a few caveats to the Model 3. First off, because it was the first mass produced vehicle, build quality issues. There were so many issues with build quality, issues with the seams, issues with things breaking and all that stuff. Also, the suspension was super stiff. Whenever I drove in my friend's Model 3 in the rears, I always almost threw up because I was so nauseous because the ride was so bumpy bumpy and stiff. Another issue was all the creaking and squeaking and all that interior sound that caused problems and was kind of something that you had just had to deal with when you get a Tesla Model 3. However, all that has changed with the Model 3 refresh design. I recently test drove the new Model 3 and I did a demo drive. It's very easy to do online. Anyone can do it. You can use my referral link. It explains everything about the car if you've never driven a Tesla on the screen before you go for the drive and it tells you how to drive the Tesla and it's a great experience for anyone interested in getting a Tesla. Now already what sets the Tesla Model 3 redesign different from any other Tesla is of course the complete exterior redesign, but some hidden changes as well, like the suspension. A lot of car reviewers are saying this is like a mini Model S. However, for me, I feel like it's better than a Model S. They took parts of the stuff from the Model S, but they made it so much better and more refined, making it such a perfect car for Tesla and making it finally into that luxurious segment we all wanted. The Model 3 I test drove was the rear wheel drive model and it starts at $38,990 with 272 miles and a zero to 60 time of 5.8 seconds, which isn't that bad. I think this is the best bang for your buck because if you didn't know, Tesla likes to remove a ton of stuff in their cheapest rear wheel drive models like they did with the Model Y. However, because the Model 3 refresh is so brand new, they only removed a few small things in the rear wheel drive model, making it a super value. The long range model starts at 47 
$27,490 with 341 miles and it goes zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds. Now eventually they will have a Model 3 performance model, which is probably gonna be super fast, but it hasn't been released yet. The Model 3 I have is the long range model. It's in the white paint color. It's just a generic white paint. There's five choices you could choose online. The free color now is gray. It used to be the white color. Now the white color is $1,000 extra for this upgrade. So here we are in Orange County in Garden Grove, Extreme Edge Auto Detail. They do tons of work on Teslas. They do paint protection film, ceramic coating, tint, everything you need. We're gonna check out the all new Model 3 Highland Refresh. So let's talk about the exterior and of course Tesla's Achilles heel build quality. So already you can see the complete redesign of their headlights. It's all matrix LED headlight, which is awesome. Look at the daytime running light bar. It goes all the way here and across all the way up here. You have four bulbs in here. You have tons of bulbs in here. The light output on this thing is amazing. They also integrated the turn signals inside the headlight. It looks so clean. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I love the look of the Matrix headlights in the Model 3 Refresh. Now the lights are so bright, there's no need for fog lights because the car is so low. So as you can see, it's just a single piece bumper, nothing crazy. Now let's take a look at the gaps. Now already you can see how beautiful the front bumper sits. It sits perfect, no panel gaps. It looks amazing. A lot of the Tesla Model 3s had issues with the hood like not being aligned, but this is very, very nice. It is a little bit unaligned, but it's not noticeable and it looks really, really good. Now, it seems very similar to the Model 3, the older Model 3. However, they made things more edgy, more clean. You can see that they have added this new piece right here that kind of juts out, goes all the way across. That's something new. They added a couple Model S touches where they have a little piece here as well. And they also have the updated side repeater cameras. But what I love are the new wheels. This is the 18 inch photon wheels. It helps improve range, but they made it all black now, beautiful. I love the look. They do have the 19 inch Nova wheels with that more chrome steel look. Does decrease the range slightly and it is a $1,500 upgrade. However, what most people do is they just grab this bad boy. Look at that, look at the look of the rim. Put some lug nut covers on here and it just provides that beautiful look that everyone loves. And this is the big thing they did with the older Model 3s. As you can see, the rear is completely redesigned. They made it so it's like a full line here, comes across so it's on the trunk and goes in. And that's what I really like. A lot of the headlights, especially the older Model 3s, the light only lights up on the outside. However, this one goes along the entire length and it looks beautiful. One issue with that, however, is that it takes the light with them so there's nothing here. So you could put like your Starbucks cup or something as a nice little holder. So now if your headlights are on or the light blinkers or emergency lights are on and you open the trunk, you have a new light that pops up here. Same thing if you have your reverse lights on, which is why there's there. So that's just a US regulation. It's nice that they added that feature so they can provide that awesome real tail light. Now, trunk space in the rear is very similar to the old models. Very good storage space. You don't have the ability to move the rear seats down from the trunk. However, you could do that from the second row. And a 60-40 split. So you could put this side down or this side down. Unfortunately, the middle part doesn't go down, but it's still a lot of space. If you ever wanted to even sleep in your Tesla or store a bunch of stuff, this is a lot of space. Like, look how much space there is. Real nice back here. Nice wheel well storage. So again, very similar to the older Model 3s. You have two storage spaces on both sides of here as well. And of course, you have the emergency charge port release up here as well in case your charger is stuck in the Tesla. So leg room I have is decent, not the best. But again, like if I was sitting up there and I'm sitting back here, there's no way I could fit. But this is a little move forward. So I definitely have some space. And as far as headroom goes, again, my head doesn't touch, but my hair touches. Now they up Updated. You got like nice little LED lighting here. Real nice. And everything's so much softer. They did a great job. Look at the seals. Take a look at the seals. There's no uneven seals. Everything is perfect. And you see this thing? This is what I was talking to you about that helps that quietness and that thunk of the door because this piece clips into this piece. So it creates that suction, that seal. And look at that. Look at these extra seals that they have. It's so much better than before. So already one thing I noticed is the rear seats remind me of middle Model S, Model X seats. Like these are the seats from the Model S and X, just smaller. Like this is a small baby headrest, but they feel like the Model X seats and just the way it's shaped. They are ventilated in the rear, so you get more like airflow, but they're not ventilated as in it's not active ventilation. So you don't get cooled seats in the back, but you do have heated seats. So there's an eight inch touchscreen. You got the climate control here, 
the ability has like fans here that move. Now you can control airflow to the head as well as the feet. This is where you can move the passenger seat forward or backwards as well to provide more space. You can also control the heated seats. You can control music back here. You can also have all these shows here and you can play games in the back too. So they did a great job. So the middle seat isn't heated, unfortunately. However, you can put it down. You have cup holders here as well as a little arm storage. No ability to store anything. So now with the Model 3 refresh, if the doors ever stop working, instead of having to go through the front, now they have an emergency release in the rears, which is awesome. All you have to do is find this little black plastic piece, pull it out, and then you'll see a yellow string you pull the yellow string and then the door unlocks. So now we're gonna check out the frunk space. Let's see if they have an automatic frunk. Oh man, no automatic frunk. Oh well. So overall, very similar to the frunk space as the older Model 3s. No HEPA filter, unfortunately. But they did change one thing. The windshield washer fluid isn't up there and annoying like it used to be. They make it so easy right on here on the bumper. You can add more windshield washer fluid right there. Ooh. The dunk. They did such an amazing job with the refresh the second you close the door. Now they added dual pane glass in the front and the rears to again increase quietness in the cabin and reduce road noise. They thought of everything. There's no hard plastic anymore like there used to be. Everything is padded, like literally everything is padded. There's padding in the cup holders to reduce vibration, reduce sound. It's not that echoey in here, which is amazing. So I was able to test drive the Model 3 Refresh rear-wheel drive. That only has nine speakers. And the sound system was really good. It's actually better than my premium sound system in my 2021 Tesla Model Y. However, they did a crazy upgrade this year with the Model 3 Refresh long-range model. You get a whopping 17 speakers, you get dual subs, and you get dual amps providing amazing sound. The sound doesn't do you justice, but go ahead and listen. It sounds so good. Dang! You guys hear that? And with that 17 speaker, you get a new speaker inside of the column to provide that 360 degree sound. In the rear wheel drive model, you get the grill, but no speaker. Super cool. You got this beautiful ambient lighting that goes around the entire span of the entire vehicle, even the rear seats. So it really provides that personalization as well as that cockpit feeling that you're in a car but it feels so much more premium and nice and that's amazing. Now the window switches are still the same. Nothing's changed there. You still get that emergency lever, the manual release if you pull it up. It will still open the door, no problem. However, now they have a button to open the door. A lot of people are saying that this is the same thing as the Model S, Model X, just like a nicer Model S. However, there's more refinements and more attention to detail that I feel like makes it better than a Model S. The material in the dashboard, everything is all new. You can feel it's soft, not hard, and it has a nice, beautiful fabric piece here. They went away with all the wood and all that texture, so it's just super clean and super nice. So one annoying thing I found in the test drive, rear wheel drive model I drove is that this didn't line up properly. However, for this door, it's perfect. Look at that, it lines up perfectly. With the Model 3 refresh, you actually have ventilated seats now. So you have ventilated cooled seats as well as heated seats, which is awesome. You still get wireless charging in the center. You have tons of storage space in the center console as well as the armrest storage area. You have cup holders and you have a very similar lid that's very similar to the Model S and X. They redesigned the glove box completely and it reminds me of like a strong magnet and it looks cleaner and it seems so much better than before. You still have that 15.4 inch screen however the bezels are smaller now giving you a little bit more screen space which is awesome overall as far as infotainment goes everything is the same compared to the older tesla model 3 and model y's the real question is should you upgrade if you have an older model 3 that all depends most people who have model 3s they use it for commuting my friend has 111 probably 112 thousand miles on his model 3 by now and he just drives it to and from work he's used to it so for him i would say you don't need to buy the model 3 refresh however for people who like to drive their Model 3 everywhere, they always complain that the ride quality is really stiff and they want something more comfortable. The Model 3 refresh is definitely the choice for you. With the much softer suspension, but really good handling, it is a huge step above the previous generations. So that's why I think definitely if you're interested in getting a Tesla, the rear wheel drive Model 3 is a super value. It's a great choice. It's a great step in the right direction and you can't go wrong because right now this is like the most luxurious vehicle out there. They have everything, ambient lighting, they have all the ventilated 
good seats, super comfortable seats, soft materials, and it's a great car to drive. Overall, I'm super happy, and I'm glad they did this with the Model 3. However, for me, I'm a Model Y guy, so I can't wait to see the Model Y refresh coming next year, most likely. If you are getting a Model 3, make sure you guys use my referral link in the description below. And of course, the first thing you gotta do is bring your car for paint protection film, ceramic coating, tint, and extreme edge auto detail in Garden Grove. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.